This programme sets out to explore the various wildlife that can be found in the coastal and woodland areas of Britain. But more importantly, the different habitats in which they all live in. It's summer, and the need for food is greater now more than ever. These young swallows are beginning to get a little bit cramped in the nest. Whilst mum and dad are on the search for food, the chicks call to their parents to see when the next parcel of food will be delivered. With the returning call heard, Chicks know food is on the way. The unmistakable tree creeper, a common bird in woodland areas. A slightly less common bird, on the other hand, is the great spotted woodpecker. The red band on the back of the head of this individual indicates that this one is a male, and this one a female. It's mating season, and this pair are engaged in their courtship displays to try and entice one another. The River Otter is a freshwater estuary that flows right into the sea, causing fresh water to meet salt water. It's located at Budley Salterton in Devon, a few miles away from the town of Exmouth. The river attracts a variety of different wildlife, including little egrets. As they carefully pick out only the finest insects, they begin to form meal times into an art form. Herons also roam nearby, keeping their eyes peeled for any easy meals. and that minnow will do nicely. The cormorant spends a lot of its time actually in the river, undoubtedly making it a superb swimmer. On the search for fish and whatever else it can find, 
This astonishing bird is capable of catching pike and eels. And the way in which it does this is all down to how long it can stay under water for. This one is staying down for just short of 30 seconds, covering a fair distance. Cormorants are not just river birds though, as they turn out in large colonies on the coastline. The black pigment in their feathers enables them to absorb sunlight, resulting in a quick drying time. Weighing up to five and a half pounds, this heavy bird needs its five foot wingspan to become airborne. Gulls perch on nests on the side of steep cliffs, safe from danger. As the sea draws in, creatures begin to emerge in rock pools, such as starfish. Common shore crab, a real favourite for tourists doing a bit of crab catching. Limpets smashed off rocks provide a tasty bait for the crabs, and once they have a grip, they rarely let go. Shell diameter of up to six centimeters, but have incredible power for their size. Battles between crabs can lead to severe consequences, resulting in claws being lost. predator lurks. The kestrel is one of the smallest birds of prey and hunts mostly for mice and shrews. These cliffs with their long grass provide a good hunting ground which is needed, as it can take time to make a kill. Like the other coastal birds, the kestrel has its nest high up on the cliff tops, away from any threats. 